all right uh welcome to discover talent friends in this uh, video series we are going to cover pareto analysis right uh, so what is the meaning of pareto analysis right so you can do it on the wikipedia as well you will get the uh, better result right the pareto will help you you know uh to analysis what is the defects basically in your process or maybe in your company right based on the 20% of defect if we can you know mitigate those particular 20% defects we will get the uh, result and maybe we can improvise our particular process right so in this particular uh, video series i am going to cover up this particular uh, topic which is called pareto analysis how we are going to create it right so if you are going for an interview somewhere right hr may ask you this particular question right uh, do you know pareto analysis right uh, based on the uh, your area of interest correct so coming on to the topic okay uh, this is the excel sheet which i have this basically the call center right uh, when uh, opening call particular agent is there he is uh, he or she you know providing the appropriate opening call right uh, survey push solution empathy sympathy if he is showing understanding the problem right benefits uh, offers if he is pushing for the uh, customer right and ending up the call these are the ratings uh, which i got from the auditors right uh, these are the data basically for the month of uh, particular month correct right? i can say this is in a dummy data again i am not comparing this uh, with the any of the any other any of the uh, other organization right this is the dummy data which i have so here i am going to demonstrate you how you can create based on your data parameters uh, based on the auditor's report right one pareto chart so based on the 20% problem right whatever 20% causes are there uh, 80% dent you can resolve it let me quickly show you how it uh, be how it can be right so once you have the data like this you need to do a uh, largest to smallest format first right and then you need to get the cumulative frequency percentage for this particular data sets whatever you have and then cumulative frequency so first we need to do a total correct so for total i already created one short video as well for this but if you don't know or maybe you missed it so please go and subscribe my channel and you can watch the shorts as well so this is the total total 191 right i just control exit and just paste it over here and then uh, what i will do i'll just do the division 191 then okay so i got a 34 percentage if you don't get the 34 percentage make sure that you are going into the home section and then you are click on the number format and then percentage over here correct then i'll just drag it down over here Was that uh, so far we are good over here, correct? Right? Now uh, what we need to do, we need to have a CF percentage, CF normal CF, then is equal to this value. I'll get this over here. Now carefully observe, uh, is equal to you need to click here and then plus this value. Okay, you will get the consecutive value added on the below. Likewise, you need to do for the others as well. please be ensure that you have the 100% uh, you know at the bottom without that your uh, whatever pareto we are creating that will not really help you i'll just remove the filters from here okay if you want you can make a design as well complete your call for the better presentation purposes i'm just making it now okay now it's done and then once it's done ensure that you know you are click on the insert button we are adding the uh, pareto right so here and then recommended chart i just click on the recommended chart let me show how it looks like so once i click on the recommended chart it will give me the second column which is called clustered column right and then i just click over here let me add over here see this particular part of uh, pareto chart is being added in the uh, excel sheet right please be ensure that you know whatever we have the value here right we are getting in the uh, 100% so right click format axis and then just do it 10 and then enter right and then once i do the 
probability i need to have i need to just only measure 80% uh, data right based on the 80% uh, so i can 20% whatever issues are there right based on 20% i'll i can you know uh, investigate on the uh, my 80% issues will automatically get resolved right so this is the understanding basis of the uh, pareto chart and then maximum issues so whatever are there so we are just only focusing on the, those particular maximum issues once we resolve those particular issues our uh, rest of the other problems will automatically get resolved it's in a process improvement idea we can say right you can do for your process as well or maybe wherever you are working currently you can uh, implement this particular process okay coming on to the topic again uh now it's an 80 percent right so this is the 80 percent i will if i measure it's going above and beyond for the 80. I'm going to read this. I just open up the labels as well. Okay. This is the 81%. And then this. Insert the shape over here. You can add your uh, shape as well. No, my drawing is very bad. We are not pitching in the solution as well, so we need to focus on this particular parameter uh, basically for our process improvement, right? And we can make the changes in the this particular thing. So let me change the color. These are the analysis which I did, right? And you can, you know, uh, showcase this to your leadership as well. Considering that, you know, if we focus on these particular three parameters on the top, right? This uh, rest of the other parameter we can easily get uh, mitigated, you know, for problem solving that can be done. I hope you found this useful, folks. Uh, so please subscribe my channel and uh, please do let me know if any comments, any feedback for my channel, right? So we'll try my level best to you know improvise further. Thanks for watching. Have a great day ahead.